Hello and welcome to the short board on Parshas Re'e. Uh, we're going to combine a couple of different thoughts. We're going to start off with Rabbi Arya Kersner's thought that he shared from the Orach HaShulchan, from Yerub Yechiel, Michael Epstein, 1829-1908. And with it, he gave, Rabbi Epstein gave a guarantee how to keep your family fortune intact over generations, in fact, forever. So the concern is that Aeneas, poverty, being poor, that's something that is a galgal. It rotates. There's a cycle to it. Uh, if one person in his family is, is wealthy and doesn't have financial struggles, then you can be con concerned about whether their children have struggles. If your second generation also has no struggle, then worry about your grandchildren. Maybe they'll have financial struggles. How do you avoid this? So the Oracle Shulchan has a Kabbalah that says that if one person will go around collecting money for other people, meaning that he struggles on behalf of other people for their financial situations, then it will save Matzil as Hadorosav Milach Sar al and it will prevent his descendants from having to collect money for themselves. It will protect them financial from financial struggles. Why would this be? Because if you had a decree that you'd have to suffer financial struggles by doing the struggle on behalf of someone else, You'll feel the struggle, but you won't have the financial difficulties. Moving on to another point that's more well known is uh, the Vilna Gon, um, quoting the Gemara in Tanis uh, Daf Tes, that um, Aser Tis Aser, as Pasuk Perki Dal Pasuk Daf Beis, that Aser Besvil Shatis Aser. By giving Meiser, you'll become wealthy. But the uh, Rakhayim Belajan, the student of the Vilna Gon, says that his Rebbe would describe that Hashomer Me'osh Ma'aser, one who careful to give 10%, then he'll be protected Menahezek. There'll be a guarantee that he won't get uh, harmed. But someone who's careful about giving a fifth, 20% of the income, then he will be guaranteed that he'll get wealthy. But he adds on one more point that I don't think is as well known. And that is that if all of Israel will be careful to give 20% of their income, then there'll be Mekayim, the Pasuk, a few Pasuk later in Perak Tesvav Pasuk Dalad, that Epes Kilo Yebcha Evyon, that there will not be any more destitute amongst you. The Kla Yisrael won't have this extreme poverty if everyone would give 20% of their Miser. Just a side point. Um, detracts from that in some sense, but not fully. The Imre Noam, uh, the mayor of Harwas of Dizikov, 1819 to 1877, he says that Evion is something, it's a, is destitute, which is worse than Aeneas, which is being poor. That, yes, there won't be, Basic is telling us that there won't be uh, extreme poverty, that destitution, but there will always be Aeneas. That way you'll be able to do the mitzvah of giving Matnas Aeneam for that, there will always be. So combining together, we see that if you want to create your fortune, give 20% of your income. There's a guarantee you'll become wealthy. And if you want to keep that wealth in your family for generations and forever, then still go out and struggle on behalf of other people, collect money for other people in need. And that way, you won't have to have your own financial struggle. By the way, I have this organization I'd like to collect for. Just kidding. We'll have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos. Thanks for listening. Like, share, and subscribe.